All right, Josh here at Community Chrysler. Just gonna kind of a dark, kind of a gloomy day today. A little rainy and uh, cold and windy. Not ideal for videos, so I'm gonna do a drive video instead. I haven't done a test drive video in a while. In a 2013 Dodge uh, Challenger RT, uh, this particular one is in black clear coat. It has a dark slate premium cloth interior, leather wrapped steering wheel. Does have a trip computer, uh, 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine, rear wheel drive, six speed manual transmission. Most of these are automatic, so this is going to be kind of a little different too, which I like. Um, yeah, it has a keyless enter and go, so key fob. Just push the button to start, and uh, we'll just go. So uh, yeah, I'll take uh, back roads and then end off with the highway. Not going to change camera views much. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I don't have a big camera set up today. pistol grip uh, leather wrap and aluminum pistol grip shifter feels good in the hand good good grip here we have a, a Chrysler Crossfire it's basically a Mercedes-Benz SLK uh, and it and it it's a manual transmission as well I might take that later uh, it's off topic this car is just an all-around good driving car good in the turns, good in the twists, good in the straight line, but it also is a nice, I mean, you can haul people in it too, so the back seat, uh, Chrysler's been known in their two doors, convertibles in the part, in the two door coupes, like the Challenger, and the Sebring, when Chrysler made the Sebring and the 200 convertible, um, they used cap forward design, which uh, even in the two door vehicles, it increased cap space, especially in the rear seat. So even in a Sebring slash 200 or a Challenger, I mean, yeah, it's a two-door car, but you're not out of legroom in the rear seat too. And actually this car, it is, it seats three across in the back seat. wants to go fast. Um. All right, that's about it for our test drive video. Until next time, thanks for watching.